Thomas Tuchel really not happy um, with what he saw. He said he needs mm. more from his players. Um, listen, he's he's coming out and he's been public about it, mm. Jamie. Would yeah. you would you suggest? Is um, that right? I would be careful in digging out players in pre-season, right? You can say you want more from the boys and, you know, you expect a little bit more. Um, but to dig them out and say they're not at the races, I don't know. It's like it's, Ali will know. Pre-season's pre-season. I don't like the whole thing where they're going out to America and playing Premier League clubs. Mm. I don't understand it. If you're going to go out to America on tour, play LA Galaxy, play Minnesota, play teams out in the MLS. But it's for their fans on the other side of the yeah, world but, to see them play meaningful games. It's not meaningful. Yeah, it me- but it's, a te- it's, it's big teams, Premier League teams against yeah, each but other. It's, it sells I, I, tickets, I, doesn't it? Yeah, but you can sell tickets if you play against the Galaxy. Like, you can sell tickets and still put on a decent game. I think it takes the gloss off the Premier League. Like, the Premier League is sacred. The reason that everyone loves the Premier League is because you get them huge football matches where you get Chelsea, Arsenal, West Ham, Tottenham. And it's not the same. Like, you, you can say they won 4-0, but who really cares? I remember when I was... <laughs> I, <think. laughs> I was like, when I was Billy Ricky manager, I was like Pep Guardiola in pre-season. Like, we won every game. I was like, oh my God, this team I put together is insane. Lost the first four games of the season. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Like, pre-season means nothing. Exactly. Like, you, you, it's that all about... the manager, though? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Tactics are all over the game. <laughs> but, you know, pre-season's... It's about fitness. It's about getting the, the, yep. the group together, making sure everyone's on the same page. Yes, they've got beat. Yes, you want to see them do better. But come on. You know, once the season starts, big players, big games... That's when they step up, not in pre-season. You don't win a trophy in pre-season, unless you're top. Hundred percent. Oh, Jimmy, that's, that's what I've been saying. I've been saying it for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, by, by the, the way, Andy on Cup's that, special, yeah, Aldi, we'll take it every year. <laughs> on that, Jimmy, I've got to say, Harry Kane had two sensational finishes at Ibrox at the weekend. I don't know if you've seen them, yeah. mate. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, I've oh, seen them. Oh man, I but like it's easy them. to score there, Ali. You know. Well, it's not, mate, because, you, you know, we'd, we've been doing all right. And the second half, you boys looked really, really good. But Kane, Kane was effectively a difference between the two sides, mate. His first goal was unbelievable. He cuts inside, hits yeah. it early, bends it right in. And the second one, brilliant. Difficult one to take. He's got to take it early, and he hits it down into the ground. Brilliant finish. I'm really excited, Ali, you know. So am I, mate. I'm looking, I've, I've, I'm looking forward to seeing Spurs this year. Yeah. I've got to say, Jamie, I really am, mate. I, th- I think we can I really I, I genuinely believe this season we can produce something special you know if you remember at the start of last season Harry Kane wanted out you know he was yeah. talking of him going Man City he didn't come back for training this season they, they all just look together everyone's like let's let's see what we can do let's push and, and where can they take us and I look at Chelsea and go oh, you know they, they're having a bit of a wobble Arsenal have done good business I have to say I think they're going to be dangerous but yeah. Tottenham I don't know. I, I'm do you really excited. Look, Jimmy, do you know, if we finish do you know fourth and weekend, don't win a trophy, mate? I think that's that's not a good season for us. So you'll only accept a good season for Spurs if you win something. I think if we finish like third, I mean it's it's almost impossible to catch Man City and Liverpool, right? It's you know they're just worlds away. But if we finish third and we win a trophy, that's a great season for us. But third or fourth means nothing. You just you're in the, you're in the Champions League. But if we win, if we just like get fourth. I don't think that's enough for Spurs. With the players that we've bought, the manager that we've got, I think we can push for something more. I don't like I don't know what it is, whether it's Carabao Cup, FA Cup, you know, a, a long run in the Champions League. I just feel like we should expect more from these players now because we've got a great team. Hmm. Tell you what you have got, I must admit, I mean, we speak about it all the time. The front three are fantastic. You've got options up there, right, for the first time, I reckon. Serious options. Be- before, I thought, to be honest with you, I don't know what you thought, Jamie, when you're when you're bringing subs on in that particular area, I don't necessarily think it strengthened the team, to be honest with you, because your front boys were that good. Yeah. Kane and Son, obviously, we're speaking about. But I tell you what you have got, mate, you look as though you've got a real physicality about you at the back, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I'm, I'm honestly, Ali, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, I think this is the first season where I look at this Tottenham team and I think, <sighs> we could do something special. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm sure we're going to have the whole Spurs mentality and people will start digging us out. We'll lose a few games and people will get on our backs and be like, oh, it's the same old Spurs. But I think Conte has got something different with his squad. I think he's he's changed it. I think he's changed that mentality. I don't think we're this Spursy side anymore. I think, I genuinely think we can do something special. 
I, if anyone can get the Spursiness out, it's probably Antonio Conte. Yeah. Mm. And, and there were times last season where he almost wanted to throw in the towel. And I imagine he was just being emotional because obviously he's still there. Um, but games where he was like, well, <laughs> I don't know if I'm the right person for this job. I don't know yeah. what I can do. The sign is that you made Perisic retire. Probably, wasn't it? Assume it, yeah. Uh, Jed Spence, Fraser Forster. I'm missing one because you got six so far, haven't you? I feel like it. That's it, yeah. There you go. Yeah. So those are your signings. And, and and like Ali said, you're strengthening the squad. Would you think Richarlison will push for a start or is he um, back up? What do you think? I think he'll start as backup, But I think, look, he's, he's, he's a proven Premier League goal scorer. Um, I think he was brilliant for Everton last season. And let me tell you now, Everton are, are in big trouble. They're in big mm. trouble. Um, and I think Richarlison, I think will end up playing on the right. I think he'll he'll chop and change with Kulisevsky. I think you know Harry Kane and Son are guaranteed starters in any big game. Maybe if they, they he wants to rest them in maybe you know a, a Carabao Cup game and he might play Richarlison. But I think I think he'll fight it out for Kulisevsky playing off the right like an inside forward. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what he does. You know, it's a big step up for him. Because, you know, there's pressure now. He's playing Champions League football, but he's done it on the international mm. stage, so we know he's good enough. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.